Mathematics is sometimes referred to as the language of the universe, but there have been many moments in history that mathematics was almost broken. What are these moments, and how did mathematics survive through this? Let's start by introducing the Barber Paradox. This is also referred to as Russell's Paradox, named after its creator, the philosopher and mathematician Bertrand Russell. Imagine a small village where everyone needs to be shaved, and define a barber as someone who shaves only those who do not shave themselves. Using these facts, how do we know who shaves the barber? It seems nonsensical, but this statement forced a rethinking of mathematics. A barber cannot shave himself, since he only shaves those who do not shave themselves, but he belongs to the village where everyone needs to be shaved, so he must be shaved. Russell devised this to show the logical flaw in set theory, and simply put, this paradox has no answer. In the flawed version of set theory, we define a set as all the objects that have a specific property. So as an example, the set of even numbers contains all the integers that can be expressed in the form of 2 times k, where k is an integer. The paradox arises within this version of set theory when we consider all the set of sets that are not members of themselves. This set appears to be a member of itself, if and only if it's not a member of itself. This logic had broken set theory and mathematics was in a desperate need of a fix. And a fix arrived in 1908 when Ernst Zermela proposed the first axiomatic approach to set theory. Ultimately, after its development, it contained a list of nine axioms that were designed to formally define set theory, and as a result, mathematics as a whole. Russell's paradox was built on the principle of unrestricted comprehension. This means for any property, you can build a set from those that satisfy it. The zamela frankel axioms replace this axiom with the one of specification. The axiom of specification says you can carve out a subset using any description you like from a pre-existing set. Obviously this is not so great on its own, but there are other axioms that let you create other sets. In particular, the zamela frankel axioms start you off with the existence of an infinite set. Now in this story there was a degree of hyperbole. Set theory was only really defined in the 1870s, and a solution was found 30 years later. But what this paradox highlights is the process by which mathematics develops, and the rigour it has to withstand. This is a testament to figures such as Euclid, who devised an axiomatic approach to geometry almost two millennia before Russell's paradox. And it's something that we still teach in university to this day. You can learn more about Euclid by clicking on the link, and also check out other videos on the history of mathematics. And as always, subscribe for more content, and thanks for watching.